this dinosaur had a neck longer than the city bus you take to work every day. Xingjiang Titan might just be one of the longest sauropods ever to roam this land. And boy, the earth must have shaken when it moved. These majestic creatures boasted one of the longest necks ever seen in a land-dwelling animal from the Triassic or Jurassic period. And if you'd like to know what they did with it, stick around. Back in 2013, a group of cool scientists led by Wu Wenhao introduced us to Xingjiang Titan Shanshanesis. They named it after Xingjiang, the place in China where they dug up its bones in 2012 and threw in Titan because, you know, it's a giant. Now, the specific name Shanshanesis comes from the place it was found, Shanshan, named after the ancient Shanshan Kingdom. This amazing creature is known for its main fossil, SSV12001, which is a partial skeleton, but still in pretty good shape, displaying the first two caudal vertebrae, the last two cervical vertebrae, all dorsal and sacral vertebrae, some ribs, a chunk of its left leg, and even the pelvis bones, Despite a bit of erosion, this dinosaur's fossils gave us a fantastic peek into its world and how it was built. In the sauropod family tree, Xinjiang Titan takes its place as the sister taxon of Mementisaurus, and interestingly, it stands as the sole member of the family Mementisauridae. Yep, Xinjiang Titan and Mementisaurus share a family bond. In fact, when you peek into their family album, you'll notice that Jingjiang Titan and its cousin share a bunch of features with Diplodocids. Think of it like having similar facial features passed down through generations. They both have a standout circumferential process on the pubic bone, relatively short hind limbs, and a caudally developed fourth trochanter on the femur. Just to give you an idea of how big this dinosaur was, the series of its dorsal vertebrae alone measured a whopping 372 centimeters. The thigh bone stretched out to 165 centimeters, and the shin bone was 98 centimeters long. Now, for the grand reveal, Xingjiang Titan's estimated length ranged from 29.8 to 32 meters, 98 to 105 feet. These giants were towering creatures, standing at about 56 feet, 17 meters tall. That's seriously ginormous. To put it in perspective, compare that to UNESCO Ceratops, which is only about 3.3 to 6.6 feet, 1 to 2 meters in length. Xingjiang Titan also weighed a lot of course, with an estimated weight ranging from 55,000 to 88,200 pounds, 24,950, to 40,000 kilograms. This dinosaur's neck was seriously something else. We're talking a jaw-dropping 14.9 meters long, which is a couple of feet longer than a city bus. Its neck wasn't just long, it was a record breaker. The larger cervical vertebrae added a whopping 123 centimeters, making it one of the biggest vertebrae known in the whole animal kingdom, even outdoing giants like Sauroposeidon and the massive Barosaurus with their neck lengths potentially reaching up to 17 meters. Xingjiang Titan holds the title for the longest articulated neck of any known creature, living or extinct. With its neck making up about 55% of its total length, it really was a sight to behold. However, its neck was less dense than the rest of its body. Thanks to a unique skeletal structure and air-filled neck, Xingjiang Titan, like other sauropods, managed to stay lightweight well, for its massive size at least. Heads and necks, when viewed from above, only made up about a sixth of the total weight. This giant's neck was even longer than Mementisaurus, which is another dino with a rep for long necks. While Mementisaurus had an estimated 39 feet or 12 meters neck, Xingjiang Titan outdid it with an estimated neck of up to 49 feet or 15 meters. Now the evidence from the Quequetai formation in China indicates that it was a landscape characterized by dry woodlands and coastal regions with alluvial soil. Xingjiang Titans, being part of the Sauropoda family, were likely accustomed to areas rich in vegetation, much like their fellow sauropods. Once again, like other sauropods and herbivorous dinosaurs, it's believed that Xingjiang Titans probably lived in herds and might have been social animals. Research and fossil discoveries also suggest that sauropods, including Xingjiang Titans, had a family-orientated lifestyle, living alongside their young. Well, 
being massive like other sauropods, they weren't exactly built for speed, and unlike smaller dinosaurs, they probably couldn't move very fast. However, when it comes to their exact speed, it's tricky to say. Since we don't have all the information about these ancient creatures, scientists can't pinpoint their exact speed. But one thing's for sure, they weren't sprinters. Their size and weight likely kept them moving at a slower, more leisurely pace. Moreover, Xingjiang Titans were likely pretty chill creatures. They probably lived peaceful lives, coexisting with other species in their environment, as is characteristic of most giant herbivores. Other than that, sauropods in general seem to have had a relaxed vibe, munching on plants and hanging out with other dinosaurs without showing much aggression. You'll be surprised to know that this family of dinosaurs wasn't always so gigantic. In fact, in the initial 50 million years of their evolutionary journey, sauropods were a pretty diverse bunch. Sure, some were already sizable at around 10 meters in length, but the family also featured more lightly built members, some no larger than a goat. So what changed? Well, the massive size of sauropods like Xingjiang Titan was likely a response to a climate shift around 180 million years ago during the early Jurassic period. This transformation in evolution was triggered by massive volcanic eruptions in the southern hemisphere, leading to changes in the plant life that formed the sauropod diet. As for those famously long necks, they served a crucial purpose, allowing them to reach tall conifers and access different plants without having to move their massive bodies. Because of their large bodies, sauropods had to consume a substantial amount of food to meet their energetic needs. Having long necks meant they could acquire food efficiently, without expending excessive energy in movement. Plus, if you're big and heavy, moving around a lot to find food could lead to a significant energy expenditure, requiring even more food intake. Additionally, giant animals generate a lot of body heat. Studies have suggested that the long necks of sauropods like Xingjiang Titan could have served to dissipate this excess body heat, a bit like how the large ears of modern elephants help regulate their body temperature. The extinction of most sauropods like Xingjiang Titan was influenced by a significant change in vegetation due to a harsher climate. Following extensive volcanic activity and a subsequent global warming event, the environment shifted to a warmer, drier climate. Tall conifer trees took over from the lush vegetation that existed before the volcanic event. Fossil evidence from this period showcases ferns with fronds larger than six feet, indicating the change in plant life. The sauropods that managed to survive this challenging period were those recognized for their ability to consume a variety of plants, including conifers. These dinosaurs, like Baguelia alba, adapted to the tougher vegetation by developing teeth with enamel about seven times thicker than those of other herbivores that went extinct. This adaptation allowed them to efficiently feed on the coriaceous leaves of conifers. Interestingly, the evolution of large digestive chambers to process this specific type of vegetation could have played a role in the colossal sizes reached by sauropods like Xingjiang Titan. Their adaptability to changing plant life and efficient processing of tough vegetation likely contributed to their survival during the Jurassic period. But paleontologists suggest that Xingjiang Titan might have stuck around until the late Jurassic period at the latest. This means these magnificent creatures became extinct during the middle of the Mesozoic era. In the end, this colossal sauropod from the Jurassic period was a remarkable dinosaur with an extraordinary neck length and its adaptation to a changing climate and vegetation allowed it to thrive during a crucial period in Earth's history. On top of that, Xingjiang Titan's massive size and unique features, such as its impressively long neck, provide valuable insights into the evolutionary strategies that enabled certain sauropod lineages to survive and dominate their Jurassic ecosystems. And that's a wrap. What's the biggest question you have about Xingjiang Titan? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy learning about ancient creatures, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more cool stuff about the past.